I'm at Costco today. I need to pick up a couple of things and I got some of the salad stuff. I got some really good prices. Doesn't really fluctuate too much, but $4.89 for a big thing like that. I really like the price of the spinach this week. $1.49 for a big bag. Just like I said, I'm just picking up a few things. And these wraps are pretty good. They're carb control wraps. Three dollars. I got a couple of those. They also have like, I don't know if you've ever been here before, but they have keto bread for $3.99. I'm not getting any of that. And they also have this, this one's on sale this week, this wheat bread. $1.49. 40 calories per slice. It's pretty dang good. They also have these. These look like somebody beat the shit out of them, but keto buns. Five dollars. They, they sometimes they have hot dog buns too. I'm not getting any of that. I don't need it. No, I don't see their hot dog buns, but they usually they usually do have them. Let's continue on. I don't know if you've ever been here before. I, I meet people all the time who haven't. It. It's not a huge store, but they do have a good variety of things. Like they have pizzas over there. Um, they also have things like potato salad, cheese deli meats, you got coffee over there. If you're someone that needs to buy oats, they do have like oats. I think that's pretty average price, $4 for a big thing like that. They also have uh, condiments. Have you seen the price of mayonnaise lately? It's like the price of mayonnaise lately has been like $9. I'm not getting any of that. I'm just saying. Oh, they got... I am getting one of these. Reduced sodium soy sauce. $1.55. That's a really good deal. Mustard. A dollar. I don't really eat ketchup, but you do. Also, um, hot sauce. Peanut butter over there. And the peanut butter runs about $1.99 for that size. But look at this one. $2.99. Look at that. Bam. I'm not going to purchase anything from here right now. This is their little protein section with all the protein bars. I've got too much stuff at home to review, but they do sell protein, which I have tried that before. Um, not bad either. You can get it for about a dollar per serving, and there's about 30 servings in there. The carbs are a little bit high. I've tried some of these. I'll come back and try some more, but everything is about... There's probably about six bars in there. A little bit over a dollar a bar. Those over there. It all it's all about a dollar per per protein bar. Really just depends on your diet and what your goals are, what I would recommend to somebody. If you buy canned vegetables, you can get them for about around under a dollar, sixty-three cents, sixty-three cents, sixty-four. It just depends on they have a couple of different brands, sliced carrots, sliced potatoes, around a dollar, sliced tomato, diced tomatoes, a dollar, tuna, about a dollar, I'm not getting any of that today, I do not need it. like a pretty large bag of rice that sits here white rice um 
it's not in, they have a different kind of white rice. Brown. They got instant brown rice. They have some of those flavored mixture rices. Rarely is that ever out of stock. I think that's probably one of the first times I've ever seen that. They also carry meats here. Chicken breast runs about $2.39 a pound. They have ground turkey as well. Beef is pretty average price. I think it's a lot cheaper here though. You can get 85% for Also have like yogurt too, which I don't need any of that right now. I'm a little bit disappointed with the price of eggs. Like, when did they start being this expensive? I don't know what they cost everywhere else, but mm, you can just buy regular egg whites too. They also have a pretty decent section of fish, mostly shrimp down here, ahi tuna, they got some salmon, they also have some fresh salmon that was over there by the chicken, cod, tilapia, there's a price on the tilapia, there's a price on the cod, I got some cod, and here is the vegetables, you can get frozen veggies. That's enough for a couple of meals. Cauliflower, cauliflower rice, and a little vegan section over here. I typically get these because they're around a dollar a bag. And there's about 12 ounces in there. It's not bad. It's my favorite aisle to walk down. It's just a aisle where they sell like just miscellaneous items. And they'll even have like random food products over here. <coughs> I don't really buy any of those. It's pretty random what's here. So especially when it comes to these items they sell, it's kind of like a seasonal thing. But if you see something you like, you better get it because it might not be here next time. And they have another aisle full of just, it's so random what they have here. They have cleaning supplies. You can usually find some pretty good equipment for the kitchen that's pretty cheap. I mean, $30 for a pizza grill. Cool. Shoes. <laughs> I love this aisle, it's so weird. Get a cat corner scratcher like I said it's random but we're all done we're gonna go check out let's go I'm hungry and I'm ready to go home oh one of the things that's interesting about here is you bring your own bags or you buy them at the front and also if you see like a box that's empty you can take the box and put your stuff in the box kind of like the way that Costco does you gotta bag everything yourself make sure you bring a quarter because that's how you get the cart when you take it back and you plug it back in you get your quarterback probably good to know that's all we're done thanks for shopping with me I got a lot of good stuff just some salad stuff and some fish and some cat food nothing crazy I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks so much. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.